it's here. You know, Seda Smoland, that a young man by the name of Ernst Johansson first lays the foundations for what will later become Boxon. A small sawmill joins forces with Tramloso La Fabrique, and our first 90 years are about to begin. At this time, the company is primarily associated with the manufacture of boxes for fruit and vegetables. The small business survives the challenges of both flood and fire and develops through relocations and acquisitions into something much bigger. Between 1960 and 1970, the company's revenues increased tenfold. One reason is the introduction to the market of a new material, corrugated cardboard. Among the more unusual packaging requests are stable boxes for stud horses and coffins. In the same year that man takes his first steps on the moon, it's time for the first generational change in the packaging factory, as Ernst Johansson hands over to his son Ingmar. The company is increasingly acting as a consultant in packaging matters. No challenge is too difficult for the wizards in the construction and design department. In the 1980s, things are getting big, and Helsingborg's Embola is no exception. The company has already made the leap across the North Sea. Now, it's growing even more, and appropriately it introduces an important new product, the Big Bag. The international expansion gains real momentum in the 90s as the company establishes a presence in Germany and the third generation takes over. Anders Ilfors becomes CEO and the company is renamed Boxon. Development continues as the world enters the new millennium, a transition that thankfully goes much more smoothly than expected. Now's the time to provide our nearest neighbors with creative packaging solutions. Boxon also embarks on a program of active environmental work, something that is to remain a key priority for the company. Times have been good, but now a worldwide recession looms and some turbulent years lie ahead. Boxon makes it through with honor intact, and in 2011, the company expands its business interests in China and grows rapidly. In the years that follow, the focus is on uniting the company and continuing the strategic investment in digitization. This turns out to be a very fortunate decision, considering what's to come. In 2022, Boxon turns 90. And even though we're rightly proud of our long history, the focus is on the future, as it always has been, continuing to develop, welcoming change, and operating in the same corporate spirit with a passion to protect what's important. <laughs>